Hello, I'm Dikra and I'm one of the DLC AI 2024 residents. Hi, I'm Anna. Um, I'm a PhD student in neuroscience and I'm one of the DLC AI residents 2024. Hello, I'm Mark, PhD in neurosciences and a Biblab Cat AI resident 2024. Hello, my name is Mark Anella, and I'm thrilled to share with you my experiences in behavior analysis and my interest to become a professional in the field one day. So my journey began when I was doing my bachelor in biochemistry, but at that time I was at the Ludwig Maximilians University in München and I was analyzing flight behaviors and yes, I was doing that manually. But nevertheless, my interest in animal behavior led me to course a master in neurosciences and now I'm doing a PhD in biomedicine in Barcelona. So my topic of interest is something called second order conditioning. And it is not something very studied, but very important for society because we are studying how we make inferences from stimuli and how we adapt our behavioral response in each of these cases. And this is important because it can be applied in many psychiatric diseases, such as PTSD or schizophrenia. And here it comes the good part. The pivotal turning point in my research was discovering the power of Deep Lab Gut. Look at this. So, my lab doesn't have you informaticians or many people knowing how to code, but nevertheless I wanted to learn Python from scratch, on my own, reading on the internet, um, checking out cheat sheets. And in the end, all this dedication paid off. And now I'm able to write my own Python scripts, analyze my behavioral experiments, and put all this information in my GitHub so can I contribute to the open source community. Also, my interest in Deep Lab Cut led me to course a Cajal Neuro Kit in Deep Lab Cut this past November. So I traveled to Valencia to attend a local training hub. And in the future, I would also like to know more about bioinformatics. That's why I am willing to enroll in a master on bioinformatics and statistics. All in all, I think that my unique background, my commitment to learning, and my genuine passion for animal behavior make me a good candidate for the Deep Lab Cat AI residency. I greatly appreciate your consideration. Hello there, I am Dikra Masrur and I am from Morocco. I have just started my PhD in deep learning here and I'm applying for the DLC AI residency um, because I just find it fascinating and very instructive to be able to contribute to open source and you know, improve a piece of software for others to use and vice versa, especially when it relates to uh, a topic that I'm very passionate about, that is neuroscience. Um, and uh, I really took taste that open source contribution first when I joined the um, Behavioral Neuroscience Lab at Lund University and I got the chance to explore all the projects they're working on and be able to contribute to them and improve them and later publish them to the scientific community and also uh, to the public as a whole. Uh, and I think a six-week residency like this one has the potential uh, for me to to be a very transformative experience because it gives room for so much ambitious um, contributions to the DLC community, but also to the open source community as a whole. And it gives a chance to acquire you know, new skills, especially in a multidisciplinary environment and uh, setting. Plus, um, I heard about great collaboration and mentorship and also some um, beautiful labs as well. Um, I also can say uh, that I have benefited firsthand from previous editions um, contributions, like for example, the improved Napari plugging for pose estimation or the well-documented tutorials and guides, which have been very um, useful to me and my team at the BNL. So um, yeah, in hopes of seeing you this summer, uh, I'll be looking forward to hearing your feedback and I wish you have a great day. Thank you. I'm Anna first year PhD student in neuroscience at the University of St. Andrews. In my master thesis work, I've used Deep Lab Cut in my analysis pipeline for analyzing locomotion. Specifically, I work with gene therapy in a mouse model of ALS to identify improvements to the ALS locomotive phenotype. I've used DLC in combination with an existing post-processing tool for gain analysis and also developed my own DLC-based tool for quantification of 
weight supportability in locomotion. I want to take part in the AI residency because I have benefited greatly from DLC and existing post-processing tools in my work, and I want to contribute to the existing repository of open source tools for behavior analysis. Behavioral neuroscience is, to my experience, still quite dependent on expensive tools such as EtherVision, and I hope to contribute to the open science movement and make conducting behavioral neuroscience more accessible. Particularly, I'm interested in developing tools for behavior classification, and a substantial part of my PhD is developing machine learning-based uh, facial expression classification tools for analysis of emotion expression in mice. I aim to make these tools accessible to the public, and as these will depend on good markerless post-estimation, a better understanding of DLC is invaluable. I would like to develop DLCs further, and particularly uh, oral facial tracking, but my primary interest lies in developing post-processing um, behavior classification tools, and this is something I hope the AI residency would also look into. In my bachelor's, I work collaboratively with my study group, while in later years, I've mainly worked independently on developing analysis pipelines and tools. While I enjoy the creative freedom of working independently, I would like to further develop my collaborative skills, and I would like to improve my um, implementation of version control software like Git, so I can become better at writing and distributing code in a manner that is collaborative, efficient, and accessible. I want to become a next-gen leader in uh, behavioral research to improve the toolbox for automatized behavior analysis to enable high-throughput research, and I want to do so with an explainable AI perspective, so it does not become a black box. Lastly, I've had a fantastic female PI um, who's helped me gain confidence in my work and showing me that our contributions are important. In the future, I aim to be a role model to women life science myself, and this is one of the great appeals to me of the AI residency. During the Deep Lab Cloud residency, I have learned a lot about how Deep Lab Cloud works and how the functionalities have developed over the years. I've also learned uh, a lot about how we can better utilize the vast amount of data generated within behavioral neuroscience as well as other scientific fields. What I enjoyed most was the different classes and seminars that we had on different topics from machine learning concepts, how to use convolutional neural networks, how to work with uh, PyTorch, and even people who came here to talk about different open source software like Jupyter or Scikit-learn. During my residency, I had the opportunity to delve deep into the mechanics of DLC. Uh, it was fascinating to understand how things work under the hood, especially with the upcoming uh, DLC 3.0 release, which comes with support for PyTorch, uh, but also some other exciting features like super animal foundation models for pose, uh, pose estimation. We've also gained familiarity with um, the other tools that are developed within um, the groups, such as uh, Amadeus GPT, and how we can use large language models in the development of behavior analysis pipelines. Um, so we spent most of our days hacking away at DLC and understanding how it works, experimenting with uh, some models, which we got the opportunity to train on GPUs uh, provided by the lab, which was great uh, because we, we had the opportunity to benchmark them against new data and new settings of experimentation. Um, but uh, the main focus of our work was uh, to migrate in the DLC live package into PyTorch so that it aligns with the new DLC version uh, with potentially some really cool um, real-world applications that we can use to demo our work at the end of the residency. A lot of the residency has also focused on how um, we can learn to collaborate on development of software and we've had quite a few talks of people from Scikit-learn and Jupyter and Hacking Face for sure, I think that this uh, 2024 DLC AI residency will make an impact in my future. It will serve to complete my PhD, to gain more confidence when working with open source code from different software and uh, applying new tools and new programming skills that we have learned throughout the course. I hope to use what I learned during the residency in a more wider sense applied to my research. It's really emphasized 
to be able to share what you do and I want to start treating my research as more than uh, just producing some specific knowledge but also be able to share the methodology in a more open source way um, to enable the tools to others be it both such things as uh, software development but also it could be wet lab protocols or behavior rigs to help other people uh, facilitate their research as well. And of course the environment has been absolutely fantastic. People in the lab were there and we could ask questions whenever we had doubts. Some people have come to do us seminars and interesting conferences. And of course we had coffee and biscuits whenever we wanted. Um, uh, as for my stay in Geneva, it's been nothing short of uh, amazing. Uh, I got to experience the rich culture and history of the city through uh, museums and uh, all the summer festivities by the lake. Uh, we also got the experience to uh, visit neighboring cities uh, together. We created some memorable moments.